What's going on guys? So today's video I actually got the wife here and we're actually going to be doing a review on a new release that came out this year. Mm -hmm. So I ended up having two samples here. Got an official one and thanks to Big Beard Business for the other one. So today we're going to be doing Dolce Cabana, the one gray. So I did finish this one. This one's almost half done. Now this set was actually launched in 2018 because I only have a sample. Let's get pictures pictures to what the bottle looks like and then we're going to get her thoughts. Okay. So I did spray this hand about 15 minutes ago with the one gray, and this is gonna be the actual, the original, the one EDT, all right? Okay. So with this one here, is there anything that you get at it, before I get into the notes, mm -hmm. is there, does it come across as bold, thick, spicy, woody? There's a little bit of spice. Okay. I feel like there's a little bit of leather. I don't know if there's leather in here, but. Yeah, I definitely get that, that it is spicy, maybe some woods. Okay. I don't know why I think of leather. I'm confusing it with something else. You like it? I do. So now this one here is going to be the original one, so the EDT, the very first one. Mm -hmm. Is there a difference in the two? There's a slight difference, yeah. Okay, you, what is it? You do, you can notice it. I don't know, it's just a little lighter. Yeah, it's not as strong as the one I first smelled. Okay. Yeah. So the top notes of this fragrance are coriander, basil, cardamom, and grapefruit with the mid being lavender, geranium, clary sage, and the base is patchouli, vetiver, labdamum, and tobacco. So there's no leather in it. So okay. you do get a leathery vibe. Interesting. So yeah. it's probably the grapefruit and the, the tobacco. Maybe mixed That's, together? Yeah, maybe. That's what I kind of get. I get like, mm -hmm. this one is pretty much like this one, mm -hmm. but this is the summer version. This is the fall version. Really? That's what I find. Well, just now I, th I thought that this one was stronger. Interesting. Yeah. So this one's bolder and fuller. Mm -hmm. So like when, when I, before we started the video, we were actually out in the kitchen and yeah. I asked you which one right. you thought was the difference and you said that this one was a little bit fuller anyways. Yeah, 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 I did. So, but you did say that this one came across as stronger as well. And, and somehow they smell differently right now. Oh, okay, they, they've had 15 to 20 minutes to yeah. develop a little bit. Is there like a major difference though? Like you did say that this one was a little lighter. No, there's not a major difference. Okay, no. all right. I, I think to someone who doesn't smell fragrances often, you're not going to notice um, a difference between one versus the other. They okay. smell very similar. But uh, when you're comparing them in the way that we are now, then yeah, you'll notice that one is more, probably a little bit lighter than the other. Like a side by side. Yeah, okay. yeah, but they're pretty much the same, right? It's like taking the Coke and Pepsi test. Okay. Yeah. That's a different way of looking at it. Yeah. I do find that the one gray mm -hmm. is certainly more spring and summer. Yeah. And this is more fall, maybe early spring. Really? I think they're both uh, for colder seasons. Really? Wow. Mm -hmm. Maybe your nose is just sensitive to this. Maybe your, your, your senses are not adapting to this one. I don't know. Maybe so. I don't know. They, they smell very similar. Okay. Yeah. Uh, occasions, what would you wear this one? Or what would you suggest that men wear this one? I like it for a date night. I think it would smell really good. I'd like to smell smell it on you. It's a good cuddle scent. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it for cuddling. Okay. I think that this is more so the cuddling scent. Let me smell. Uh, the, the original. I think that one's more of the cuddling scent. Really, eh? I find that's the sexier of the two. Yeah, it is a sexy fragrance. This one, not I so do, much. I do like it. Oh, okay. I think, um, I'm not so sure I would want to wear it to work. Or I'd want to smell that at work. Um, I think it would make me sneeze at work. We are definitely having totally different ideas and opinions for this video. Really? Yeah, I think that occasion-wise, office. Really? Pretty much just a work scent, day-to-day mm -hmm. -day casual, day-to-day -day wearings, you know? Uh-huh. Nothing formal. This one here I find comes across as more of the night out okay. type of fragrance because it's a little bit bolder, a little bit richer. Uh -huh. This one's just lighter and fresher. Mm -hmm. They have that... This one certainly has this some DNA, but they definitely have the sim same DNA for sure. But I just prefer this one. See, in the kitchen, I thought that this one was bolder and richer. Yep, the original. Yeah, I said it had more depth to it and it was more full. Yeah. Uh, so this one kind of filled out a little bit. Yeah, it did. Wow. And that one faded. Okay. For me. Interesting. This this one developed a lot more. Everybody is different. Yeah. So uh, longevity, six to seven hours on the one gray, and projection mm -hmm. was pretty much soft to nil. Uh, even when I did this, mm -hmm. I didn't smell it all that much. So there's yeah. really not a lot of projection. Maybe with the bottle, perhaps retail price up here for in Canada for this one here 
eighty to one hundred and three dollars or one hundred and five dollars, really mm -hmm. Canadian. Let's keep this video short. Okay. Any final thoughts on this fragrance? And a rating out of five. A rating out of five. Okay, I like it. If I just smell the fragrance on its own, I love it. I would love to smell you wearing this one. <laughs> um, I think that it's great date night scent, and I think that. Um, I think, I think it's certainly one to keep in, in your portfolio of your, fragrances. In your rotation? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And rating out of five? Rating out of five wasn't the best fragrance I've ever smelled, but it's really a really good one, so I would give it a four out of five. Four out of five? Okay. Mm -hmm. My final thoughts, it's nice and it's pleasing. It's much fresher than the original. Mm -hmm. It's a lot lighter. Good summer scent, but... Uh, it's a pass for me. It's kind yeah. of forgettable. You know, okay. I, I like the original the best. And my final rating is a two and a half out Ooh, of five. So really? you, you clearly oh, like, I like it. You clearly like this one way more than wow. I do. Wow. The original is for me. I, you know what? I I only have samples from the entire Dolce Gabbana line. I don't yeah. have any fragrances from the house. I wasn't I, expecting that. But Makes a genuine reaction, huh? I know. So, you clearly like it, I don't. I do like it. That's okay. Am I going to get a bottle of this? Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. Would I wear this again? Probably. Maybe to get rid of the sample. Pro yeah, probably that. Yeah. But that's pretty much it. So. Okay. Um, we got two different takes of Dolce Gabbana and the one. So, I did two samples here. <laughs> Almost two. So, Beard, thank you very much for your generosity. Really do appreciate it. Man, Big Beard is super generous. I got so many samples from him. Mm -hmm. Working on Bulgari Man Wood Essence. Okay. And he gave me so much more. Like, this guy is awesome. Awesome. So, Beard, thank you once again. So, guys, we got two takes on Dolce & Gabbana, the one gray. So, definitely a pass for me, but she likes it. That's okay. So, guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Share the video. So, give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. I got lipstick on me, probably. No, no, this one doesn't rub. I'm, oh, I'm test. Really? See, he tests fragrances. Uh, I test makeup. There you go. So, guys, <laughs> well, thank you for your time. Take care, and we'll see you later. Bye.